Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse and welcome to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Charlemagne. The new DLC and patch is out and I am very excited. I am up at 8am, <laughs> uh, was up even earlier to buy it and install it, um, but anyway I am up super early so I can record some videos and get them out on release day. Um, at least one video out on release day. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in to the game. Um, now I'm thinking of just going ahead and choosing Charlemagne. Carl Carling. Right? Let's Let's just go ahead and read the little flavor texts, shall we? The early Middle Ages started with the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the early 5th century. The earlier part of this era saw the great Germanic and Slavic migrations across Europe, with people such as the Goths and the Lombards settling in southern Europe, the Franks settling in Gaul, and Saxons crossing the sea and settling in Britain. The Eastern Roman Empire was violently shaken by the pressure from the Goths and Avars and fought bitterly with the ancient Persian enemy. The rise of Islam saw the Arabs conquering immense amounts of territory in the Middle East and North Africa, and in India, several great dynasties vied for dominance, with the Rashtrakutas rising towards the end of the 8th century. In the steppes, the Khazars grew in power and in Scandinavia, things were about to change in a way that was to affect the entire continent. I wonder what that could be. Um, anyway, as you could probably see, before I move on, they've sort of changed, or at least added, a little thing to when you can, to, you know, the... chooser, <laughs> the uh, scenario selector, whatever you want to call it, I don't even know what they call it. Um, the setup screen, I guess. Um, now you can always just go to the custom game setup and do it the old way, but if you want, like, just quick to quickly choose a main, um, you know, just a major time period and then one of the main characters of that period, then it's a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about you know, clicking on little places and anything like that. Anyway, Carl Carling. <clears throat> Son of Pepin the Short and a descendant of Charles Martel, Charlemagne, or Carl as his contemporaries called him, became joint king of the Franks with his brother Carloman in 769. After a two-year power struggle, Carloman suddenly and conveniently fell ill and died, leaving Carl as sole ruler of the Franks. He then proceeded to make the kingdom greater than ever before, conquering Saxony, Lombardy, and other lands with equal measures of good strategic planning and ruthlessness. He was eventually crowned Holy Roman Empire by Pope Leo III and his descendants, were to rule large parts of Europe for a long time to come. Hmm. So that sounds like a good as any place to start. And he is the namesake of the DLC, so let's just go ahead and do do that. Start game. Please don't crash. <laughs> Alright. Um, now before we get started, I do like I do want to say that. I'm not sure I'm going to play a very long game as Carl or his descendants. I might switch to someone else later to sort of explore maybe the tribal mechanics a bit. But for now, we are going to be Charlemagne. So, where to begin? First off, we are of West Francia, which is a very odd shape. Very odd indeed. Um, so, you know what? Let's see. What do we want to do? What do we want to do first? Oh my goodness. And I'm so... Ugh. It is way too early. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> way too early. Let's go ahead and get married. That might be a good idea. 
Arrange marriage. Hmm. Did they change a little bit with the window? The window looks a bit kind of different. But maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, let's see. Princess of Lombardy. Getting Lombardy as an ally might be a good idea. That might be a very good idea, considering that we are going to probably get be getting involved in a <laughs> in a battle with our brother. So let's see what the Lombards can bring to the table. That's a queen, the queen of Bavaria, not you. So there are a few daughters that we can choose, not her. Mm, she's 25. How old are we? 26. Probably not her. Definitely not her. Not her either. Clerics. Blech. Here, not even appeaser. I guess. Because we really we we're doing this mainly for the alliance. Ooh. This person holds a claim, holds claims to these titles. Oh, that's new. That's very interesting. So you can just sort of look at their claims. Cool. All right. My cousin and my cousin. All right. So let's get the alliance with Lombardy. That will help immensely, I think. Now, what else is there to do? Let's see. Before we actually get started, just doing the setup, let's see. The Duke of Aquitaine does not like me. Can we get rid of him? I wonder. Plot power. That's right, they got rid of the assassinate button. You have to choose a plot. That's going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Why? Why does he hate me? He hates me! <laughs> they they intentionally made uh, Aquitaine hate Charlemagne. Why? Why, why, why? That's no fair. Alright. Um, sorry guys, as I said, it is so early, my mind is not even necessarily in the right place for this, but I just really wanted to play. Um, is he good at anything? Like, can I... Hmm. See, I want to... Uh, he hates me, though. That Nothing's going to change that, right? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Alright. Oh, what's this? Found a new empire. Okay, found the Holy Roman Empire. Very interesting. Oh, so is that how you create the Holy Roman Empire now? You... Okay, so you are King of Italy, or Emperor of Italy. You have at least Francia, Germania, Hispania, or Britannia. Oh, that is very interesting. So the Holy Roman Empire... So they've they've changed it. So now the Holy Roman Empire... As long as you hold a de jure Catholic um, empire... So, Italia... Well, you know, Francia, Germania, Hispania, or Britannia... And our king or emperor of Italy... You can be the Holy Roman Emperor... So that is a very interesting new thing. So to sure empires. Yeah. Because I think... I don't think you could form the Holy Roman Empire before, could you? I know it existed in later start dates, but I don't think... Like, I... Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I never did play as the Holy Roman Empire or even consider forming it. Uh, <laughs> whenever I play, you know, like... Europa Universalis, I always try to dismantle the Holy Roman Empire because I think it's fun. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, what are there any other sort of things? Going on pilgrimage, go going into hiding, legitimizing. 
Do I have children? I do have children. He's a hunchback. A hunchback bastard. Really? <laughs> all he needs is grayscale, and this is my uh, Game of Thrones game all over again. <laughs> God damn it. Um, Alright, so what I think I'm going to do also is we're going to... We're going to go on a pilgrimage right away. Now we're going to get married and fulfill our ambition first. That's going to be first. Then we'll go on a pilgrimage. Right. Okay. Um, what else is there? Now, um, <clears throat> I'm not necessarily going to go over all the things in great detail because I think there, the dev diaries, and there was a pretty good stream uh, on Twitch last night where they where the devs sort of went over everything um, which was pretty pretty good so I'm just gonna assume you've seen it um, or are okay with my sort of vague rambling explanations of things so the army levies pretty much the same um, this is a what is this you're not at war so you cannot yeah this is your call uh, Vassals are allies to war button, so that's interesting. Um, do I have any tribal vassals? Like, are there any tribal holdings? I don't. I'm guessing no, right? Like, yeah, because it's all former Roman Empire, pretty much, except for this right here everything sort of east of the Rhine. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like we have any sort of stuff like that. Alright. I'm just just curious because I know Saxony is tribal. So I was just hoping that I was just, no, looking to see if maybe there's some tribal stuff. Nope. Alright. Uh, anything else to sort of look at and deal with before we get started? Should probably go go ahead and assign these people to things. Uh, let's see, our chancellor, Aquitaine is a lost cause. But is there anyone else we could probably? Gascony, hate. Why do people hate me so much? <laughs> what? Why? The Duke of Gascon hates me. Why? He wants control of Dax. Hmm. That's why. Um, am I a tyrant? No, I'm nothing. Why do people hate me so much? What the hell? Ah, uh, damn you, paradox! Intentionally making everyone in Aquitaine hate you, so you know the revolt. Revolt. The Count of Dax even hates me. Hmm. Um, Duke of Aquitaine, Duke of Flanders, wants control of Gienz. Sorry if my, my pronunciations are all wrong, also. Duke of Flanders. So what do you want control of? I don't really... This. Is, is it this? Yeah, this guy. Um, I guess I could give him this guy. Yeah, let's cheer you up. You don't hate me, so probably giving you control of this guy would be a good thing. There we go. Now you like me. Yay. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Mayor of Arik. Count of Loon. <laughs> uh... Count of Evero, just a bunch of counts. Duke of Holland, Duke of Franconia, wants control of Mainz. And anyway, like I was saying, sorry if my pronunciations are all wrong. Um, uh, a lot of this sort of stuff is not my thing. Pronouncing like French and all that stuff. So what do you want, Mainz? Sure, 
You can have mains if you want, right? He wants control of the bishop with mains. Transfer vassalage, mains. I just want to make sure my as many of my vassals like me as possible. Um, Duke of Thuringia. Does he want anything? No. Alright. So most of my vassals like me now, except for the sort of Aquitaine ones. <sighs> this setup is taking a while, isn't it? Probably because I'm just not in the greatest mindset right now. Tired. Exhausted. <laughs> Didn't sleep well. Did you guys sleep well? I hope you all slept well. Regardless of what time it is when you're watching this. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Um, Alright, so I think we did that. So, who should we sort of try to put the moves on? I guess... Count of Amien, maybe. Who hates us, but it's not like hate? So that's hate, that's hate, that's hate, a mayor, no point in doing a mayor, loon, where's loon, there's loon, let's send you there, improve diplomatic relations in loon, marshal, no really other good marshals, so let's go ahead and train some troops. Uh, steward, let's go ahead and collect taxes. Uh, spy master, <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy is amazing. Uh, anyone better? Nope. Spy master. Uh, hmm. Let's have you study technology in the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe we can get some legalism and stuff. That would be good. Because now all of our laws are restricted to um, legalism and stuff. Which kind of is annoying. So it's a priority, I think. And religious stuff? Our religion's fine. We even control a holy site, apparently. Right? Colne. Nice. Wait, did they change? Was that always a holy site? Yeah, it looks like the holy sites are different. What? No. I'm just going crazy, right? Rome. Jerusalem. Did they change the border of Jerusalem a little bit? Maybe? Hmm. Anyway. Jerusalem. Rome. Right? Or am I just crazy? No, they're the same. Right? Yeah, Colm... Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I've been playing the CK, the uh, Game of Thrones mod so much, I completely forgot stuff from this one. Anyway, uh, Court Chaplain... Let's just have you improve dip religious relations with the Pope. Pope is always good to get to know. Let's see laws. Any laws we can do? Crown authority. Low. Can it appoint army leaders? That's definitely a good idea. Let's try to get that going. Um, let's see. There's... Okay. So I think the crown authority is more important for now. Try and get... Because if we're going to go to war, we want to be able to appoint our own leaders, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Uh, retinues. Now, retinues have been severely, I don't want to say nerfed, but they've been, um, they've been changed. I won't go over it too much, but basically you get, there are, they're smaller, they cost more, and they now cost upkeep to maintain. So, you got to be careful. So I don't think I'm going to do any retinues for now. At least not for this little, you know, overview thing. Especially this setup. I think this video is just going to be... You know, I'm going to stop my timer completely because... I think this video is just going to be set up for playing as Carl. Or Charlemagne. Whatever you want to call him. 
All right, so we're not going to do anything with that. Mercenaries? Any new mercenary companies? Doesn't look like it. Holy orders? None at the moment. We've looked at the intrigue stuff. Do we have any plots? We do have some plots. Factions? No factions. Religion looks pretty much the same. College Cardinals? Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's see. Eight titles can be created. Kingdom of Frisia? No. Duchy of... We don't have any money to create any of these anyway. Boo. Ruler Unmarried. Vassal Inheritance Warning. Uh, wait. Earl of Burgundy. Oh no, Amien it was gonna where is Amien anyway? There. Oh. Uh so yeah, I think that's the setup. And in the next video, we're gonna actually start playing. So until next time folks, this has been Dance Wars. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me any questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. Uh links are in the description below. And until next time, bye!